Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be having a look at this HP, it's an X360G2 uh, with some strange disc problems. Okay, so to get into the unit we've got um, some star headed screws around here. Uh, just need to try and work out the right size. Okay, well this one seems to work. So we'll remove these. Now the problems that we've been seeing are um, it keeps blue screening. So even after we've done a fresh install on this, um, it just keeps blue screening. So, from what we've discovered, it looks like it could well be the hard drive. Um, I think that's the most logical item to, uh, to change because it was moaning about uh, certain disk issues just after we'd rebuilt it. We hadn't put uh, Smart enabled on the SSD. But no matter what we did, everything normally uh, would be okay. But uh, yeah, some really strange, unusual behavior. So to get into the unit, I should just lift off. That's it. Okay, so what have we got inside? Wow, uh, it's an enormous battery. That's the memory, I think. I think that's the memory. Uh, drives over here, so let's have a look at that. Wi-Fi cards here. So that's got to be the memory under there. So let's now get this drive out and see if we can replace it. There we go. And let's see what type it is. This seems to have come loose. I'm not sure where that's from. That's fallen out from somewhere. Probably from the front, from what I can see. But not sure how that goes on, so I'm not going to stick it on somewhere where it's not, uh, where I don't know where it goes. Okay, so let's get a little prizer tool under there. And have a look at the drive. Okay, so this is an M.2 SATA drive with the B&M fitting and it is 256 gig. Okay, so the only SATA drive that I've got is this uh, 500 gig Western Digital. Uh, this should go in without any problems. So we'll just open this up. Okay, looks good. This is a 500 gig M.2 SATA, so we're going to insert that in there. Like that, so that's, I think that's in the right way. All right, so now that's done. We can get the bottom case back on. There we go. So it was the two long screws in each of the hinges here. Like that. And we'll get the rest of the screws back in. So we're going to go from, because I've only got a 500 gig, so we're going from 256 gig to 500 gig in this unit. And we're going to go straight in with a, a new copy of Windows 11. And then lastly, two screws at the front. So, we'll get a copy of Windows 11 and then we'll come back and have a look at it. 
And then on the unit, on the unit itself, we've got uh, a Windows 11 bootable drive, and we've got power plugged in. So um, we're going to now put a copy of Windows 11 on it. I'm just going to see if we can grab the output from the screen. Okay. All right. Turn it on. Escape to get into the boot menu. Okay, here we go. So we want to go down to F9. And we want to USB hard drive boot. That's what we want. And that should then boot us straight into the, uh, the startup drive that we've got here we can then load Windows 11. Okay, I'm gonna to go to install. Let's see if it uh, allows us to get it installed. All right, so the terms and conditions, we accept that. Click on next. Custom install Windows only. It's picked up the drive, drive zero, unallocated space, 465.8 gig usable. So we just click on next. That's going to install it on the drive and then once that's installed we'll come back and we'll have a look at it. Okay so here we are now booted into uh, Windows so the first thing that we want to do is to we want to install the HP support assistant so if we go to open up a browser just click through all of this stuff shut that down Shut that down. Okay, so we want to go to hp.com forward slash support. We want to go to software and drivers. It's a laptop. Let HP detect your product, and this will prompt us to download the HT, HP support assistant tool. Click this link. Tick the box, start the download, and then run the file. And as part of the run, you want to tell it to install. There we go. So you click on next. I'm going to say I agree, and then we want to select install now for install the latest version of HP Support Assist. Click on install. It's going to click on close on the screen behind it. Minimise that for a minute. And then once that's completed, just click on finish. We can then go back to our web page. We should now be able to click on continue. We'll close that and let's try it again. Detect product. Tick the box. Click on open. This should work this time. Click on OK. There we go. So we're going to scroll down. Select our laptop. Scroll down and we're going to identify our OS. And we're going to select this as Windows 10 64-bit. Even though it's Windows 11. And we're going to click on this option to automatically detect software and drivers. I'm going to say OK. OK, no new drivers. So then we can close that. Let's try opening it up here. Just type in support from the help facility. We're going to run the support assistant tool locally. Okay, we're going to say no to warranty options and we're going to untick these boxes about notifications and we're going to say no and we're going to click on next and just step through this and then we're going to go back to my services and updates. We're going to click on updates. 
Okay, so we've got one update, which is the Intel wireless LAN driver. So let's download and install that. Okay, so while that's installing, I'm going to get some icons onto the desktop. So we're going to do a right click, go to personalize, scroll down. The trackpad's not operational properly at the moment until the driver's going. We're going to go to themes, we're going to scroll down to desktop icons, and we're going to tick the boxes here. I'm going to say OK. Close that. I'm going to do a right click on the desktop, sort by, and then select item type. We're going to do a right click on the taskbar and we're going to turn off chat and widgets. Like that. And we're going to open up our security settings. We're going to dismiss these about account protection and OneDrive. I'm going to close that. And then we're going to go up and do a right click on this PC. We're going to select properties. And we're going to have a look. We're going to scroll down here. And we're going to go to our device manager. And we're going to just check to make sure that everything's installed, which it isn't, as you can see here. So, what we want to do, say OK to that. And we actually want to go back to the web address and we're going to download and install the chipset, the old chipset drivers. Uh, I think actually what we're going to do first of all is run Windows Update and let Windows take care of it. So we're going to click on Check for Updates. And we're going to say Check for Updates. Okay, and once it comes back with some, you can then scroll down to where it says advanced options and we're going to see what optional updates we've got so looking down the bottom here under additional options we've got optional updates it says nine available so we do want to install a lot of this Just go and tick everything. Windows Update will always update them to newer if necessary. Okay, so this option here, do you want to keep the quick access in your taskbar? I'm going to say no to that. Save that off and then we're going to go download and install which will add these to the download list on Windows Update. And then once these are all installed we will go back and we'll check the device manager to make sure that uh, we don't have anything outstanding. All right, so all the Windows updates are in. So we just go in here. <clears throat> We're all up to date. So let's now go and have a look at our device manager because I'm fairly sure that everything apart from one item should be installed now it's normally what happens one or two okay so we've got high definition audio and an in Intel sensor so let's go to hp.com slash support Okay, there we go. A connection audio device could not be found. The application will now exit. So that says to us that the sound is uh, not got any drivers installed. So we're going to go to Windows 10, 64-bit, submit. But we're not going to let it detect it this time. This time we're just going to come into the audio driver. And we're going to install the latest one. Say yes to that. Open. Accept the terms of the license. Not sure what that's doing, but apparently it's installing, so that's good news. Uh, not installed yet. Okay, let's try the installation again on that because we can still see we've got one item outstanding failed to extract cab 
Okay, so let's now see if we can get the sensor downloaded. Okay, let's see if it's under the chipset driver. Integrated sensor solution driver. Let's download that. Okay, so the other audio device is now installed, so that is good. So that just means, hopefully, this Intel sensor should install. Okay, so that was fine. It had actually installed, we just hadn't been patient and I just needed to tell the system to uh, probe it. So that is nothing outstanding in terms of the installation. There we go, it did finish. So let's restart now. And there we go, so let's log back in. And now we've done the final HP updates. We're going to go back one last time and check our Windows updates and run that one last time. So apart from that, that's pretty much it. We'll let this run through, uh, monitor the system over the next couple of days, but um, yes, indeed, uh, it does look like we've had a faulty SSD drive because um, last time I tried it in fresh install on this, it was uh, blue screening by now, so I'm fairly sure that's, that's resolved the problem, but we will monitor it over a couple of days. So if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you in the next one.